All right, people, boom, bang. You know this. This is Dwight Ross, a.k.a. The Barry Man. And I mean, say help your family. You know what I mean? I mean, say once a day in a foreign, or once a day in a Jamaica, and then a better place, and think for help your family, help your family. But you know what? There's a perspective that I want to really put to you because times are changing. People are not the same as they used to be. People are not appreciative anymore. People, they try to find ways to try to, 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 to con you and to scam you of what you have, even your fam especially your family members. You understand? So, you know what? I know that, the, that there's a general mindset that once you go abroad, you go there to see how best you can um, improve the stakes of your family in the homeland while you try to uplift your own life in the foreign land. You understand? No, I am advising you. It's just a thought. You don't have to follow it, but it's a thought. Be careful where you place your blessing. God has blessed you with opportunity. He has blessed you with a gift. He has blessed you with a talent and with your own effort. Life gives everybody 24 hours. Life, God gives everybody a gift. And that gift, he provides a need for that gift that he can earn from that gift. And even if where you are, your gift cannot really um, create an opportunity for you, then you can learn skills. You can, you can go and acquire skills. Now, let me break it down quickly. There's a word called maintain, and a word called support, and another word called help. And there's another one called dash for your money. No, you have to be selective because times are hard. And you have to look out for yourself. You have to be selective with your help. And who you support now like for example your parents you know your parents did all they can to help you to be where you are setting that foundation they sacrifice so the least you can do is that if your parents not in a position to really adequately maintain themselves and you are you make an effort to do that that is quite fine you have an underage child you have a minor child you know up to age 22 and so forth and you want to make sure that you do what you can to help that child to where they want to go but you cannot even force them to do it. But at least you do your part, right? But when you have a brother who is a big man and a sister who is a big woman and an auntie who is a big woman, right? And they are a strong, uh, they are strong, they are not sick, they are not handicapped, they are not indigent, they are not homeless, they are not losing no foot, they are good and normal. And you are going to be supporting and maintaining that person every month. You are going down the wrong street. You are going to be a proper person pauper in a very short time you have to remember you know you have to remember the bible said by the sweat of your bro you eat bread and there are many out here who have relatives overseas who they take on the mindset that once you ask you must get what's the sense you are working so hard in snow sleet sun every god almighty thing working under some inhumane conditions and there is a boy out here sitting down who have woman all board sit down pan can and smoke we don't want to learn a skill right you have a have a, have a sister or some female relative who she breed anytime she ready you understand that she want you to send baby things she want you to do all this and she a party everywhere while you are working what is the sense it doesn't make economic sense as a matter of fact you are cursing your money because your money is going on stony ground now if one of them want to go and learn a skill somewhere at art for example and they want to learn a little skill and they want you to help them fine help them but you know say the help is not a continuous thing it is based off effort right so when they say all right i'll pay i will help you to pay um this term and when they work the term and they have an exam show you what is the result you understand and and then you continue to help them and motivate them until it's time for them to be on their own where they can help themselves you are because you know what the truth is you are going to reach a stage in your life when you can no longer maintain that and when you cannot maintain that they will turn on you just the same and they will cuss you out just the same you understand how many families overseas have family members out here where you start accounts and joint accounts and they are in it and you see if it two years and when you come out here not even a cent how you feel i am advising you the blessings that god has given you be careful where you plant it because you are planting it in some criminals because they sit around they can wait for a night they can wear for a nice jeans so they don't have to work for that and food they can just get food in in and i mean so they just stay there and they become vagrants and waste of time and when they cannot get it elsewhere they thief and they will thief from you I advise you 
Be smart with the blessing. Be smart with the money. Save your money. You are going to get old if you're not dead quick. And none of them will be able to take care of you. And what they are going to say at the end? Oh, you're there foreign so long. So what you have to do for yourself in a foreign? She what listen, in what listen? A word to the wise. Even I think that is foolishness because if you're wise, you don't need no word. But a word to the foolish, the wise. Be careful where you plant the blessings of God. You are planting seeds in stony ground and the seeds will die and you will get no return. Enjoy the rest of your day. Have another perspective about parents and how much they put in to their children. Have a nice day. God bless you. Barry man out. Don't dash away your money.